嗨，大家好，我是特贵。这两天我白嫖了咕噜哥的黑苹果店，他告诉我，我给他买那台一七款的 MPP， 他不想要了，就退货了，还欠他一万三千多块钱。一时之间，我也拿不出来这么多钱去还他。就按他的话说，有钱就多还一点，没钱就少还一些。嗯，所以这台电脑还是会继续留在我这里。简单说一说这台黑苹果电脑给我的体验吧。虽然它有一些小的毛病，比如说时不时的它会自动退出黑屏，还就是它的蓝牙连接比较不稳定，像无线鼠标，我的苹果的 AirPods。卡的体验，但也不是什么不能解决的问题。把它那个无线给关掉，蓝牙和 WiFi 没有干扰之后，恢恢复正常了。这台 M B B 电脑在剪辑的性能上给我的体验，的确是翻天覆地的改变。它让我第一次真正体会到剪辑居然可以这么的流畅，这么的强，完全超出我的预期。我用的那台黑苹果是剪辑了我以前剪起来特别卡的那些个二点七 K 啊、十 K 的素材，基本上不需要优化，直接拖到时间线上机，而且它的渲染导出时间也非常的迅速，它是相对流畅的。上一支视频里面，很多朋友都在下方评论：“你花这么多钱去置办一台性能上超过你需求的黑苹果，不值得。”这让我有时候也产生一种后悔的感觉，因为这台电脑让我大概背上了一万四千元左右的债务。好，但通过这几天使用，我发现我真正最缺的不是那台黑苹果电脑。而是一台新款的 M B P 电脑，因为平时这台黑苹果我在家的时间并不是很多。第二，就我最常用的剪辑还是我那台 MacBook， 我又不想再去折腾，而且这台电脑我老婆看上了，所以我就想到了有没有另外一种的办法，就最大化提高我剪片效率，是两台电脑协同起来，一台黑苹果加一台带雷电三接口的 M B P。而我可以通过把资源库外建在这个移动硬盘上面，实现高效率的剪辑。下班之后，我不需要带上电脑，我只需要带一块小的移动硬盘。白天在上班的时候，利用空闲时间去剪这些片子。完回家呢，我又想用这台高性能的电脑继续剪辑我那些没剪完的片段，充分的把我的那些碎片化的时间利用起来。移动剪辑更适合我，只需要拿一块小的 SSD 硬盘，直接就能把没完成的工作继续。在台式机上面完成。幸运的是，我一直以为咕噜哥的这台黑苹果电脑最大，它只能支持到 USB 3.0， 也就是说读取和写的速度最高也就四百兆每秒，对剪辑来说也够用。Is the more widely supported standard of the two that can handle maximum data rates of either 5 gigabits per second for Gen 1, or 10 gigabits per second for Gen 2. Thunderbolt 3, on the other hand, supports up to 40 gigabits per second. That means that it's fast enough to not bottleneck even the fastest PCI Express SSDs on the market. And because Thunderbolt 3 connects to your computer's PCI Express bus, the performance penalty that you would usually have to deal with for external drives will be less than with USB, since USB drives have to route the data through a slower controller. However, Thunderbolt 3 has a downside or two. For one thing, fewer computers have support for it. And for another, these SSDs also tend to be significantly more expensive than their USB-based counterparts. So then, which one should you get? Well, either USB 3.1 Gen 2 or Thunderbolt 3 is going to give you speeds beyond a standard SATA connection when paired with an NVMe drive. And although Thunderbolt 3 is obviously faster on paper, in the real world you might not notice the difference too much unless. All you do is use your drive for moving around lots of large files. What you want to make sure that you aren't getting is a USB 3.1 Gen 1 device, which will not be as fast as a standard SATA connection, and you should definitely triple check that it doesn't connect via USB 2. It's cheaper, 
but it's much slower than any of the standards that we mentioned and really only suitable for entry-level thumb drives that you just use to store your exciting PowerPoint presentations. Another thing here is don't assume that just because the drive or enclosure uses the new USB Type-C standard that it uses 10 gig USB 3.1 or Thunderbolt 3. USB-C is great, it's super useful, especially since you can insert it either way to avoid a lot of frustration. But it's just a connector and it can actually be used with slower data transmission standards. So just take a quick moment to read the spec sheet instead of just glancing at the dongly bit and assuming it'll be okay. Other than that, drives or enclosures with a metal body can help to dissipate some heat. That can be useful, but again, as long as you're picking a product with support for 10 gigabit or greater, you're not going to be losing much performance compared to an internal drive. 详细的差异还在黑苹果主板最高能支持到 但MAC的确更省心更方便 必须要达到一定的水准，剪辑才会流畅。我本来还以为MC700年MB这个雷电接口能双向传输，实际上它只能输出视频信号，别的啥都干不了，挺让我失望的。也就是说，只能用那个US2.0接口来传输东西。像这